Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm enjoying this beautiful day here in Las Vegas, enjoying an afternoon cocktail, but I didn't make this cocktail. In fact, nobody made this cocktail. This was made by the product I'm reviewing today. It's kind of a cross between a cocktail version of a Keurig and a robot bartender. It's the Bartesian and that's today's video. All right, so before we get started, let's flash back to the unboxing and see how that went. More bubble wrap. Nicely packaged. Props to whoever packaged this. The poolside collection and the classic collection. There we go. All right, this thing is, move this on the floor. All right, here we go. Now, now we're getting there. We have another box to open after this. It's like one of those gifts where you keep getting a smaller and smaller package in there. We'll eventually get there. All right, there's some warnings here. I will read all these over very carefully. Here's the adapter, which might be important. That's what we got inside. We have one, two, three, four, five bottles. We're getting there. Ugh. So here is the unit itself. We've got these four receptacles here for different alcohols. Vodka, gin, rum. Over here we've got tequila and whiskey. And each one of these five bottles has a corresponding type of alcohol written on it as well. It kind of looks like a giant Keurig for, for mixed drinks. I guess that's kind of what it is. Let's take a quick look at the capsules that I got here. Now I have two of them here. This is the classic collection. This came with the Bartesian. This is the poolside vibes collection, which I did add. And I think I paid about 20 bucks for it. So it's about eight capsules, around two and a half bucks a piece. Let's uh, see how they look here. They're a little bit different design boxes. Let's open this one first. This is the classic collection. Oh yeah, very nice. Look at this. Very nice. We've got Long Island iced tea, Cosmopolitan, Uptown Rocks, Old Fashioned, Margarita, Whiskey Sour. They also tell you how many ounces the mocktail, regular and strong will be. Nutrition information on the back. I, I do like the way that looks. Let's try the poolside vibes. Oh, a much different uh, presentation here. I guess we just pull this out here. On this side, we've got Rum Breeze and Ginger Peach iced tea. We've got two of those. On this side, we got Margarita and Mai Tai. They're presented differently, but they both look really nice. Let's uh, let's start with the classic collection and something that's. I'll just go with the uh, I'll go with the Long Island iced tea. I've had a few of those in my day. Let's uh, put this in the machine for our first test and see how it goes. All right, just a couple of preliminaries before my first drink. I did clean out all the containers here. I added water to it, and there was a first use where you're supposed to basically run some water through the lines. I did that, I didn't think that was very interesting, so I just did it off camera. But now we're ready to prepare our first drink. So here is the Long Island iced tea capsule. Apparently there's a barcode reader inside the unit that will read this barcode and know exactly how to mix the drink. Here's the mixer itself. No alcohol in the, in the capsules, this is just a mixer. And I've got the alcohol loaded up here. We've got, I've got rum in this one, vodka over here, around the corner I've got whiskey and tequila and i did fill this up with water i put distilled water in there just in case because we have pretty hard water here in vegas now it says insert your capsule and close the lid very much like a keurig here we go opening the lid it's like the capsule goes it can only go that way and there i guess the barcode reader is up in there and then it will puncture it just like a keurig you're supposed to put a glass here i guess this is kind of what you'd serve a long island in now, normally you would have something like ice or a frosted glass, but I just really want to see how it looks. So we're going to go without this time. And all right, so it's telling me to place a highball glass with ice under the dispenser. I'm going to kind of leave the ice off just for demonstration purposes now. So let's, uh, let's see how we go. And next. All right, now it's asking me, has rum been installed? All right, so it's making sure rum is installed. Rum is installed. So here we go. Next. All right, spirit strength. I think we're gonna go regular. Mix. Here we go. Oh, there it comes. There it goes. It's very fast. It's very quick. Still hear it? Okay, there it goes. All right, that was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. Let's see what we got here. Now, obviously you would normally serve this with ice, but I just wanted to see how it looks. How does that look to you? There's a non-iced Long Island iced tea, which nothing like having one of these at one o'clock in the afternoon. Here we go. 
It's it, that's definitely a Long Island iced tea. It's, it's, <laughs> I have to admit that's actually pretty good. It's about as good as I would expect. I have to say I've made a few of these in my day. Probably not even this good. I'm not much of a bartender. I, I, I know my limitations. I'm not good at making mixed drinks. This is pretty good. It says open the lid and remove the capsule. All right, see. The capsule has been removed. It is empty. All right, let's try a little point of view version here. All right, we're gonna try the old fashioned, see how that goes. So we're just gonna place it in there. Close the lid. Put a glass under here. Hit next and mix. Very quick. And there we go. Let's see how it tastes. It smells like an old fashioned. That's an old fashioned, all right. Maybe a little bit strong for my taste, but pretty good. So the only real complaint I have so far after the first couple uses is that once you close the lid, sometimes it starts dripping before you have a chance to put a glass underneath there. It would have been nice if they told you beforehand which glasses you need. So I'm kind of rushing to go get one that, that is the type they describe, or at least close to it. But as far as mixing the drinks goes, I think it's knocking this one out of the park. I'm pretty happy with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back tomorrow and try a few more of these so I don't waste too much of this and I don't want to drink too much in the afternoon either. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'll have a few more drinks then. Pretty nice spring day here in Las Vegas, so nothing like a nice margarita to cap off my late morning. Let's try it out. Mm. If you told me a person made this with loving hands, I probably would have believed you, which there are no loving hands making this, but it's pretty good. I have to pace myself here. I'm gonna be obliterated before I finish this review. I don't wanna waste this margarita though. You know, back in my 30s, the whiskey sour was one of my go-to drinks when I go out. So be curious how this tastes. Hmm. I mean, a whiskey sour isn't real hard to make, but on the other hand, I didn't have to make it. I can see myself having to get together and someone asks me for a drink, I'll just say, you can do it yourself. Go have the Bartesian make it for you. I'm too busy socializing. Okay, so I have to admit, I really do like the Bartesian. It could be used for anything from a, from a casual pool party up to a fancy cocktail party. It seems like it would fit in pretty much anywhere. The geek factor is there, the drinks are accurate, and you don't have to go fumbling around looking for recipes if you don't know how to make something. I think in cases of most social gatherings, a lot of your guests would be so fascinated by it, they'd want to make the drinks themselves. But to be fair, let's take a look at some pros and cons for the Bartesian. Starting with the cons, I'd say the biggest con is the, is the cost involved. The unit itself is about 370. The drinks are two, 250 a piece, although they do offer a subscription, which I believe will lower the cost of the drinks as well. Uh, it's, not, it's not cheap, so it's something that you're gonna have to consider. Uh, there's a minor con that I have, and that's that when you close the unit, usually when you close it, it then tells you what kind of glass to put in, but as soon as you close it, it a lot of times it starts dripping, it seems like you should put the glass in before you close it. But that leads me to my next one, which is probably my biggest con. It's not really with the function of the unit itself, it's the fact that they don't really tell you what kind of glass you need. I know it doesn't really matter what kind of glass you use, but a lot of times you want to use the right glass for the right drink. Now to be fair, and this is not something I realized at first, they do show you the type of glass in the packaging, the capsules, but nowhere do they tell you the name of it until you've actually inserted the capsule into the unit. It would be very easy for them to just to put on the capsule, use a highball glass, or use a martini glass, or use an old fashioned glass. In fact, in the case of a Cosmopolitan that I made, I guessed and put a, a martini glass in there, it told me to put a shaker in there. So I had to go, I don't have a shaker, so I just put a, a tumbler underneath there. Hopefully at some point they start giving people a little heads up on what kind of glass to use. It would be helpful. My only other con is that the gin and the rum share a slot so you have to switch back and forth if, if you're going between different jinks and there is a cleaning process that happens between the two of them to flush like the gin out if you're putting rum in there. 
it's not a big deal, but hopefully eventually maybe in the next version you can not have to do that. All right, so the cons aside, let's take a look at the pros of this unit. There's definitely some of those. Number one pro is that it works exactly as advertised. Right out of the box, everything worked perfectly. The instructions were clear. I had no issues whatsoever. Everything functioned perfectly. Another pro is that it really kind of saves you from having to stock up on a bunch of different mixers. I mean, if you're having a cocktail party, you want to make a bunch of different drinks, you could have a pretty big selection of mixers. It could be confusing, it could be expensive. So I think that the fact that it saves on mixers is actually a pretty good pro. My third pro is that the drinks are actually pretty accurate and consistent. I've ha I had all these drinks before in the past and they tasted like I expected. I'd like the fact that you can adjust the strength. So in that case, I think that the drinks are accurate and consistent. My final pro would be that you can make over 40 drinks without having to fumble with the recipes, trying to find the right mixer. It's pretty foolproof. Anyone can make these drinks. It, it, doesn't require any memorization at all. It's quite handy if you're someone who likes to have social events, but you're not the greatest bartender out there. Currently, the Bartesian has about a 4.7 star rating among over 2,500 reviews on Amazon. It's pretty popular. Overall, I know it's an expensive product, but if you're someone that has social gatherings, especially one that serves cocktails, it could be worth the splurge. But if you've tried the Bartesian or something like it, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.